Good morning, everybody. We are back again with day two of the TBF Region 6 Championship here at Lake Darnell. As you can see, I'm in the lock again. Day one, y'all saw me lock. I think I'm gonna try to do that on a timestamp to where you can see how fast it really takes, you know, in the whole process. Y'all remember we dropped down about 26 to 30 feet in this lock yesterday. And then whenever we rose, it rose so fast that man, the boat was boiling up against the, the walls and everything else. Um, same thing y'all heard yesterday morning during the intro. Uh, he's getting ready to drop the lock. Uh, right now, we're sitting in 13th place with 5.63. Uh, y'all saw I missed at least two, maybe even three good fish yesterday. There were a couple of fish that y'all didn't see because the camera overheated some. We had to let it cool down in order to turn it back on. But, um, you know, all together, to be perfectly honest, I feel like I ought to be in second or third right now. But it is what it is. The good thing is I'm two pounds and like 2.6 pounds away from a check which is exceptionally doable because everybody ahead of me uh, that's in check range, I talked to many of them and all of them said that they're not on anything. So y'all stay tuned. I got co-angler, Larry Brashears. This is his gonna, gonna be one of his first YouTube experiences. So he's gonna get on camera today. You just gotta stay out of the way of the camera, but if you catch a fish, you gotta wiggle it in front of the camera. Yeah. All right. Um, anyhow, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends. Uh, I hope this is kind of interesting because this is a pool that we didn't have any footage of. So now you're getting to see some new content. You know, uh, yes, you've seen me fish Cabin Creek. Yes, you've seen me fish, you know, Dardanelle Bay. Yes, you've seen me fish Illinois Bio, but you've never seen me fish this pool. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We're going to get y'all plugged in. We're going to lock. We're going to hit it hard. like a drum like a drum or a catfish yeah that is a drum drum yeah <laughs> i just don't want to i don't my... no it's not that's a big black oh, that's a drum <laughs> <laughs> come on him oh, aim it at me appreciate it you betcha we got trap fish <laughs> i wish i thought a grinnell yesterday that was a stud oh sweet that's what i like come off now you gotta do is get it untangled and you're in good shape yeah make sure you got the camera <laughs> i definitely will make sure you're next lunker that's the biggest fish in the tournament right there, there you go. this is just just hard it welcome to fishing with me in the back of your boat First hit, I thought that was about a about a two and a half pound. That goes to show I had you know, 250 yeah, yards. 300 yards down. <laughs> but somewhere right in here is where I missed that big one. Somewhere between here and that pole. Oh, 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 oh. 
boom. Net. Drum? No, it's not shaking. There he is. Yeah, <laughs> That's a drum. Some of them, I'm about to drop this bait. No, you're not. Yeah. He's catching fish. <laughs> He didn't shake until he got going down. Once he started going down, he started shaking. Pendleton and Mark. Why don't we do four? Uh, well, oh, there he is. Boy, that sucker hit the water and he smoked it. Kentucky? I'm gonna need a net. No, you don't. That's a job. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm kidding. It probably is a drum. He's dogging you pretty good. Might be a catfish. Drum! That's been the biggest one. Boy! <laughs> Hold on. You ready? You ready for it? Hold this. Get it off my phone. Do do. <laughs> Drum maker. <laughs> Here's your net. That joker was sitting on the bank. On the bank. I give up. <laughs> Well, you at least you got your blood flowing. I caught three fish, you caught five. Are they Uh, you're lucky, he don't scratch.
he'll stop. If I'm walking by, he'll stop. Oh gosh, I just missed one there. That sucker hit it and was running with it. Damn it. He'll, uh, that was a good hit too. Well, there you have it, everybody. I know this was a very lackluster video, and I apologize. I really do. We didn't have a keeper bite all day long on that second day. The fish that you saw us catch right here were the fish that we caught. That's it. Did not have a keeper bite. A lot of people ask what the difference was day one and day two. To be honest, if you've never fished a river system at all, bites are heavily dictated on current, whether that is actual flow out of a lock and dam system or wind. And as you saw by the one clip in this video, there was absolutely no wind. But likewise, while we were in the lock and dam system, as we're locking through, I checked the flow chart and it was at zero. Very seldom do you see a dam at zero, but we were at zero. So, you know, that had a lot to do with it. Truth be told, once we saw what the river looked like on the other side, we should have pulled the cord, turned around and went right back up, went offshore and tried our hand at some big fish up in the upper pool but you always stuck it out it is what it is however i hope that you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this series got some really good things coming up for tbf next year don't want to spoil anything but y'all want to stick around on this channel because i think you'll like what you see um a few housekeeping items make sure that you subscribe tell your friends all about this channel if you like fishing content we're also going to have some hunting content got some good stuff coming down the pipe after a, a run of arkansas river footage we've got mall mail we've got pendleton um and then we get to let's see get some bull shoals get some trout fishing videos and then we have millwood and then we get the fun stuff um i haven't been able to talk a lot about this but i think that i can now in a month i am helping team mexico and the Pan American Games. That's right. I was contacted by a representative from Team Mexico, and he asked me if I could give them a hand practicing for the Pan American Games, which will be held in early September on Lake Hamilton. And I have agreed to help them. Now, before everybody starts hollering treason or God or whatever, number one is I'm not charging them a dime. I think this is just something cool to do i'm volunteering to help them going to bring them out show them a few odds and ends hopefully to help them do well in the event and as far as treason goes i will say that i am rooting for team usa all the way but i think it'd be really cool to help team mexico they do well and know that i had a hand in it so um from what has been told to me this is what all countries do even whenever this was in mexico this this particular tournament a couple years ago team usa actually contacted some guides at here in mexico to give them a hand kind of show them around and all uh so it's not you know uncommon for that to happen but i was contacted by team mexico so here in a couple weeks we're gonna have Anyhow, uh, y'all make sure that you subscribe, tell your friends all about this channel for all this cool content. We've still got plenty of tournaments, plenty of fun fishing and everything in between, between now and the end of the year. I just appreciate all your support. You know, we are still pushing to get up to 1500 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, do me a favor, I've said it earlier, but smash that subscribe button. Man, like all of us, y'all keep chugging.